Now to Boeing Starliner spacecraft for a third attempt to fly astronauts to space. After two failed attempts, the Boeing Starliner is soaring into space. It's capsule for the first time transporting two astronauts now on their way to the International Space Station. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest. Go Starliner. Godspeed, Butch and Sunny. And with that, the Boeing Starliner capsule blasting off into space from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Although Elon Musk's SpaceX had made nine trips for NASA since 2020, it's Boeing's first time taking a crew into space. Aboard today, two veteran NASA astronauts, Barry Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. They've been going through all the design meetings. They've gone through all the simulators. I'm sure they are 100% prepared and just excited to go today. It seems the third time's a charm after two previous launch attempts were scrubbed. This mission, already about four years behind schedule, repeatedly grounded by software glitches, fuel valve and parachute problems. Hold, hold, hold. The last attempt Saturday was thwarted just four minutes to go because of a last minute computer issue with the ULA Atlas V rocket. The vehicles were ready. We just happened to have, you know, an unlucky ground card problem. That had since been fixed and the two astronauts had been in quarantine since to prevent any illness. The pair will test Starliner systems on the way to the International Space Station, about 250 miles above Earth. They'll spend eight days in space before returning to the western U.S. Starliner should reach the International Space Station by Thursday morning. And this comes as Boeing has been facing a PR crisis with the numerous reports of issues about their passenger planes. Emwyn, ABC News, Washington.